Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys missed any of the previous episodes, I'll leave the playlist on the top of the description. Definitely go ahead and check it out. But we're starting today's video off on our um, main account, training a little bit of Slayer, and on our AFK account, training a little bit of skills. I'm currently working towards getting broad arrows on both of the accounts. I'll be reaching it on our AFK account way faster than on this one though because I can choose tasks there and I pretty much choose a bunch of hail giants and easy task. However, on this account we need to do all the tasks we get assigned and to be quite honest I prefer doing Slayer that way. That to me is what Slayer is all about. Obviously though efficiency wise it is much much slower. The goals for today are very simple, I do want to get a bunch of stats on our main account for more league points and I also want to start training some skills on our AFK account just so we can unlock a tier 5 relic on that guy as well. So a lot of skills, a lot of stuff to do, so let's get right into it. 60 Slayer, and we can now kill Abby Specs, very nice, very nice. I accumulated 4 Brimstone Keys, I'm not exactly sure where, but let's see what do we get. Useless. Yeah. Eh. 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 All right. Quite. Eh. Yeah. That's my uh, verdict. It's uh, eh. Quite a lot of things just happened in the last pretty much second. We ended up getting 92 defense, which is halfway done to 99. We got ourselves 74 Slayer, which is pretty nice. And the next goal, the next big goal is level 80, so I can get myself room boots from Necreals. And they're also going to be insane money for me. And we also reached 1150 total, so all of those things are kind of cool. And I'm still ranging the Fire Giant task. I want to get range to 80 and then stop ranging. And then I want to get probably attack to 80, strength to 80, defense to 80, all the skills to aid that's gonna be so many points um, but yeah for now we're just ranging them very nice level 70 HP and we're almost done with the task almost only I mean seven left to go and close to 80 range as well that task was extremely long but we finished it got to 48 prayer and almost 80 range and we got two brimstone keys where are they here they are let's open can we get something cool that's quite nice actually and I yeah I, I got coins as well. Quite decent, not the best. I'm gonna get my melee stats up a bit, AFKing on sand crabs. We just get more points for reaching 1,500 total. We're gonna claim them a bit later though. It is morning now and I'm done AFKing the sand crabs on this account, which means that we ended up on 60 attack, 60 defense and 77 strength. I can collect some tasks here and I go from 5.7k points to... 6k points, nice, we jumped the 1000 mark there, very nice, I have temple spider task and honestly, I'm just gonna try and train melee on it, it might not be the best, but I feel like I can do it, so we're just gonna bank all the stuff that we don't need, and we're gonna do some melee training, obviously I am trying to get to 80 attack, strength and defense right now. We got ourselves three grabby keys, sharks and 200 deaths, very nice, and the super set pretty much. Um, what about next? More sharks, a lot of them, okay. And one more? Toad flex. Okay, interesting. Let's see what will the new task be, and we got some moss giants. Honestly, fairly decent task. Quite a lot of stuff just happened there, we ended up getting 59, I think it was magic, while I was reanimating the giant, and then 50 prayer right as I kill it, so pretty nice. We do want to get prayer all the way to 77 at some point. Aha, uh -huh, there we go, I just reanimated an uh, moss giant head and I got 52 uh, uh, prayer, which means I can unlock smite. And it's also a 100 point task that we're gonna claim at some point later on. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry my guy. Hopefully he doesn't hate me now. I didn't mean to do that. Most giant task completed, also got to 53 prayer, which is very, very nice. If I complete my tasks, we are now on 600, 6,100 points. Very good, I do want to finish my 80 strength here, then I want to finish my 80 range, also 80 attack and defense, come on, let's do it. Ooh, perfect task for us, 87 greater demons, the chance of adamant plate legs is 1 in 128, so let's go ahead and do it, I have high hopes that we come out of it with an adamant plate legs, and if that is indeed the case, we then can complete every single clue in the game, up to elites and masters, I don't know if there's any steps that I can't complete with elites and masters.
80 strength, now we go for 80 attack. Another 100 point task is 80 range. Um, I much prefer to just range these because I can kind of just like AFK it softly, if you know what I mean. I haven't really collected any points, so let's see. Boom, 200 points from obviously two level 80s. I'll get my attack and defense done on something that has a little bit less defense. These are level 113 combat, so they're pretty hard to kill. So AFKing them with range is uh, my preferred choice of combat. Greater Demon task completed. Unfortunately, we didn't get adamant plate legs this time around, but hey, I'm sure the next task we, we will get them and then we can complete that one medium step. Hmm, fire giants again. Okay, I'll try to quickly demonstrate what I mean. If I trade Konar, uh, look at this. One arrow costs 240 coins, okay? That's very expensive, uh, in case you're wondering. But in 10 seconds, the reset happens. So remember the 241. I'll even write it here. 241. We quickly log out. We're gonna have to restart everything. Okay, so they cost 241 each. But now if I trade them, they're like 80 each. You see what I mean? They're 150 here. And that should be enough. I bought a thousand of them, uh, but that's basically why the world reset is really nice. If we went to the woodcutting guild, we could probably get some nails as well. I might do that very quickly. Um, because nails are also something that we might need for... Actually, what do I need nails for? Never mind, I won't need them. 68 Slayer. 82 Range. 55 Prayer. 83 ranged and I have absolutely zero clue how many I still have to kill so I'm just shooting uh, Let's see. I should still get Slayer XP. Hopefully. Yep. I'm still on the task I have just completed the fire giant task and we got three rune scimitars, which is kind of cool Also, we ended up getting a couple of prayer levels. So we are now 55 if we take a new task this one will be trolls and trolls is one of those tasks that I still have not completed. So when we do get them done, I will get 10 points. Let's see if I claim these. I pretty much got 10 from, I think, greater demon task. We are moving up in the world. Two times XP rates is absolutely amazing when it comes to just getting stuff done. And we're now 70 Slayer. We do want to get to 85 eventually. And we are working our way to 80 attack. This task is kind of shit, I'm not gonna lie, but it's okay, I'm just AFK, praying melee. I have decent prayer gear, actually, it's not that bad. My voice might be a little bit fucked, I'm getting a little bit sick, but regardless, a 57 uh, prayer was just achieved, and with that, 1575 total, very nice. I do want to get this to 77, uh, and that's gonna take me a while, but this task is hopefully almost done. It's not the best task, uh, but uh, it's okay, because we have to do it for points at some point anyway, so we might as well knock it out early. Um, but yeah, I'm keep, uh, I'll keep burying, I'll keep reanimating, and eventually our prayer level should get higher. 70 attack, 10 more levels to go. Troll task completed for 230 points in total right now. Let's collect the task. There you go. I do think I planted Hespori on this account. I just want to double check it. And if that was the case, let's kill Hespori very quickly. Here we go. Hespori is defeated. How much experience do we get? 126. Wait, what? Where's my loot? What? I didn't get anything. What? I just got 126k XP, which is awesome, but usually you always get some loot. And I just got nothing. Okay, that's very weird. That's very weird, but I guess XP is nice. I also underestimated the damage of Hespori uh, for my level. And uh, it definitely kind of destroyed me, but it's okay. Um, I don't have another seed right now, but I'm really weirded out by the fact I didn't get any loot there. Holy moly, doing snape grass with 2 times XP, you get 820 XP drops. That's so crazy. 83 farming, 2 more levels to go until we can do hard contracts without boosting for them. I just had to check the 3. I'm pretty lucky with the contracts right now. I got 3 in a row, very nice. Another task that we have not completed yet on the account is jellies, and Konar just assigned them to us. A lot of them though. Um, so that's gonna be something I will do in the future. Right now, I think I want to focus on getting all the oak logs that I want to finish 99 construction. And after I do have banked all the logs, then we go and complete the clue scroll, hopefully get enough money. As you can see, there's a guy with construction cape right here, Flower. 
Hey, that's a, that's a really nice name, actually. Um, but yeah, if we if we check take, take a look at our oak log collection, as you can see, we have as you can see, we have six thousand of them. So we need just about three thousand, or actually four thousand five hundred, I think, more logs. We're gonna go and do that right now. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Ninety-eight defense. Just one more defense level to go, and HP is so close to ninety-nine. And then we're gonna have 99 all of these. The total, I mean, the combat level is gonna be 123. And from then on, I focus training range on tasks till 99 and magic with all the blood runes that we're gonna get from blood wells to as high as possible, pretty much. But really excited to get the 99 HP and the 99 defense. That's also gonna be 500 points, which is not gonna be enough for the next relic, but if we get to 25 mil on some of these, we might be able to unlock the next one, which could also be potentially worth it. Uh, potentially worth it, actually. Um, but we'll see. For now, I'm happy with what I have. Here it is. 99 hit points. Oh, it looks so good. The fireworks. Very nice. And now we only have one more level to go that I wanna AFK on sand crabs. Just 99 defense to finish. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 99 in attack, strength, defense, and hit points is accomplished on the account. And where do that where does that lead us? Like, what do we do on this account? If we collect the points, which we really should, because this will be 99 HP, 99 defense, we should get um, 500 points. Right, so we have 1,640 points to get still on the account. So that is a lot of points, and if you look at our stats, well, our stats are very good combat-wise, but very, very bad skilling-wise. I do need to get those up. First one on the list has to be 52 Fletching, because with that I will unlock Broad Arrows. Also, if we look at the, our stats and the points that we'll get, when we get 80 range we get uh, 100, 80 prayer we get 100, and 80 slayer we get 100. So have, we have about 300 points very nicely from just training combat. Our magic is bad, our rune crafting is bad, everything else is pretty bad. So, we're gonna change our... Um, we're gonna go ahead and train our skills a little bit, see if we can get some points. Most importantly though, I do this farming is also too low. I need to get it to at least 65, but I can't really do Hosidias just yet because I need to do more mass holes. So with that, we need to train cooking. Basically, right now, as I'm AFKing my combat stats on our actual main account, we're gonna be doing some skills on this one. So we work towards unlocking the tier 5 relic on that on, on the Slayer account as well. Because we are going to be going for the attack speed relic and that one's going to be, be huge when we train Slayer and then range 99 should be no problem with that relic at all. I was too focused on the conversation, I forgot to record 64 thieving, that is huge because we can now go to stone chests. I've done it all on the other accounts so you guys know everything that's ahead of us. Uh, but first, let's go and complete 100% Hesidious. Right, here we go, 50 cooking accomplished, 100% favor accomplished, if we take the tasks... We have 1580 to go. Right, uh, I think it's time to go to stone chests. 50 farming and people are bullying me because I'm a walker, dude, it's so bad. We just got 80 attack, now all we need is 80 defense and we stop AFKing at sand crab. So that's gonna be 100 points we're gonna collect. Wait, let's see if I can do it like that. Boom, claim, easy, there we go. In between the attacks, so perfect. 20 defense levels honestly shouldn't take too long. And then we either move on back to woodcutting or we do some clue scrolls. I'll decide after I reach 80 defense. And here we have it. 1,600 total with 67 defense. So 13 more defense levels to go. And I'm just showcasing being a walker on this account. We're currently still working on 75. 67 at the moment. Yes, we just got it. Another Xeric Talisman. That's going to be 100 extra teleports for the account. So we're going to have 167. That's gonna be absolutely huge. I'm not gonna dismantle it just yet, just for the safety reasons. I'm 100% sure I already have it, but I'm scared of dismantling it, so I'm just leaving it here for now. You know what, fuck it, let's just dismantle it real quick. 167, very nice. There it is, another one, Xeric Talisman coming through. Oh man, why don't I have that on my main? Look at this, I literally have 300 charges, so who needs run energy when you can teleport 306 times around the game, man? This is so good. I'm so happy, that's gonna be amazing, and we still have 4 levels to go, who knows, maybe we get another one. 
Maybe we get another one. Wait, I got another one. Wait, I got like four fucking talismans. Dude. Look at the charges. I have I have 400 charges, man. What is this? These people must be so angry. I'm still 71 thieving and I had four. Four, not one, not two, not three. Four. Four talismans, man. What? Dude, this is, this is literally just because I'm a walker. I'm getting all the teleports around the game, man. It's really good. It's really good. What a grind this one was. I'm very happy that I decided to do it simply because I can now very comfortably teleport around the game with my talisman, which is awesome. Also, we can now go to our respawn teleport point and collect uh, our gem. And that's going to give us 250 points if I can quickly eat this off the table, get some crafting XP as well. Thank you very much. I also got from 14 to 37 crafting, which is quite huge. I definitely must have some uncuts in my bank still. And now the reason why we did all of that is right here. When we claim these points, we just got 250, just like that, pretty easy. And if we check our charges on the talisman, we do have 554. That is so many trips to, to let's say, Glade when we are training farming or whatever we end up doing. That is going to be huge. Now, if we can check how many uncuts we have on this account, yup, that's gonna be so much XP, you guys have no clue. I'll probably honestly just do that right now. Uh, let's see if I cut all of these, how much XP is actually just waiting in my bank to be basically gained. So we start off on 37, let's see where do we get to. And here we go, we ended on 54 crafting. I can probably get that up to 60 if I really want to with like all the cuts uh, that I got and just combine them with the gold bars, which I do think I have on the account. Uh, yeah, I have enough of these, so I might go ahead and do that pretty soon here just to get more total level, just to get more points. But if I quickly collect the tasks, we now have 1270 left to go. 800 of that could come from Tithe Farm, but I'm not doing that grind again, so uh, I still have a bunch of level 1 skills, a bunch of low ones that I could really focus on, and I still haven't unlocked myself, a, um, I think, uh, Broad Arrows, so if I have some bars here, I can go make them into, perfect, I can go make those into arrow shafts, and then make more, I mean, to arrow heads, and then make more arrows, so I think that's what I'm gonna be doing now. I think as I'm making these arrow tips, it is a smart time to end the video for the day. It is a bit shorter than usual, but still filled with progress. Another reason for it being a bit shorter is yesterday I took a little bit of time off because I've been non-stop playing for the last, what, 10 days? It's been a lot and uh, I still want to maintain my daily uploads. As I said, this is still filled with content, uh, but it, just a little bit less than usual. Um, but if we check the stats at the end of the video, absolutely insane. 99 all across the board. And obviously we are now going to slow down a little bit, focus on achieving our next year until we fully focus on Slayer and getting that probably to 99 or at least to the point where we can kill Hydra. And meanwhile, on our main account, I am closing in on almost having 80 defense. At that point, we're going to have 80 attack strength defense. And then, as you can see, the stats are looking very, very nice. My new uh, focus will be to complete all these clue scrolls. Look at this, almost 50 hearts. All these easies that I'm not going to complete, I'll probably complete them once I have my elite clue scroll requiring me to have a Bob shirt. But for now, this is where we stand. I still don't have all the logs for 99 construction, but I'll definitely be doing these hearts to get about 2.5 million coins, which I can then use to finish off 99 construction, which is going to be huge for unlimited teleports right into Glade, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, with all that being said, I really do appreciate you guys for sticking with me, watching the videos, supporting the channel. Um, and uh, if you enjoyed the video today, give it a like. And I'll see you again tomorrow with a new one. It's gonna be filled with clue scrolls. I'm super excited to do it. And uh, hopefully you guys are excited to see it as well. With that being said, once again, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. I'll be seeing you on the streams. And have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.